Hello, my name is Sean Payton. I work here at the BC Oil and Gas Commission in the core facility. I'm the core facility supervisor for uh, this particular facility here in British Columbia. You're standing right now in our, one of our warehouses. We have uh, two warehouses, uh, one here in Fort St. John City and another one located out in, in Charlie Lake, which is uh, much older and, and, uh, and a, lot, a lot bigger. Uh, this, this facility is obviously uh, newer, taller, cleaner, and, uh, and we're, very, we're very happy with it here. Um, so as you can see here, we have uh, our core, and uh, this is typically uh, sent to us from, uh, from companies after they're done viewing it. So typically they, uh, they core uh, a particular depth that they want to look at. They send it to Calgary to a lab there. They do their analysis on it. And once they're done with it, it gets sent to us and, uh, and, and we, we, we store it for an indefinite period of time. It doesn't get destroyed. It never gets thrown away. Uh, we always keep it. Uh, the oldest core that we have here is from the mid 40s. So 1940 is when we first started um, collecting core and, and keeping it. And typically it's kept in these wooden boxes that you see here. Um, and again, when uh, companies want to see them or schools, uh, we think of universities, they, they want to look at them quite a, quite a bit. So we'll package them all up and, uh, and get them shipped out to, to, to wherever it needs to go, whether it's a school or whether it's a lab. Uh, down in, in southern Alberta or wherever the case may be. Anyone can really look at these cores if, if they want to. There are fees involved with uh, renting tables and, and the box counts and, and things like that. And then uh, we lay them out on the, one of the 10 tables that we do have here uh, and our facility and people can view them from there. They can take pictures, they can take videos. Uh, we do do some uh, minor sampling here. We're not huge into, to, we're not intricate sampling. We can take little chunks of, of the core off that people can use different chemicals on and different procedures to um, figure out or you know, uh, gain some composite uh, material of what's, in, of what's in the core. So this is basically just core. Um, it's, again, it's whatever or whatever the depth that they choose to take a, a sample from. It's not mandated that they do take a core sample because core, coring is quite expensive to do. And this is just a way that it is stored. Sometimes it's completely still wrapped in this plastic. Other times it's, it's open like that because companies have wanted to sample it or look at it. So that's basically what's in all of these these, these boxes is two rows like that. Uh, this here is all the drill cuttings that uh, come into us through, uh, throughout the year are all, are all basically stored here until we process them or enter them into our system. And from there, then we, each, each one of those trays that are separated by a piece of paper are actually two sets. Of drill cuttings so we keep one set of drill cuttings and the other set of drill cuttings goes to uh, the geological survey of canada so this is typically what comes in our drill cuttings trays is this uh this piece of paper identifying when it came in and and where it came from and then those are all the vials that uh, represent each vial represents five, five meters of material that has been drilled. So this is, this is mandated. They, they do need to submit this to us. They can't throw this stuff away. So after it's cleaned and everything, it's, it's put into this vial. And then again, this is the, uh, this is the one third. So this is, this is stuff that's cut from everything else that's in those big wooden boxes there. Hopefully I don't drop this. <laughs> But we keep this very pristine. It's not allowed to be damaged, um, aside from what it already was before. Core, for the most part, when it does come here, is, is confidential for at least six months. 
Uh, if it's not, if it comes off confidentiality, then any any company is really allowed to to take it off the shelves there and examine it. Um, companies can, though, if they've cored, examined it, sent it to us, and it's gotten near to where it does come off of confidentiality, so up to six months, a company can uh, still submit for it to still remain confidential for another uh, period of time. Uh, and that again is just subject to, to our approval. So this, uh, this is our, uh, one of our viewing rooms here. Uh, this is one that can be divided into two separate rooms, but it is our bigger one. It has six tables in it. And then we have two rooms that have two tables each in them uh, on the uh, west side of the building here. So that gives us a total of 10 tables that we use for, for examinations if, if needed. So with, uh, with the examinations, there are some limited things that we do, do supply or can supply to people who come in. We have uh, microscopes and, and obviously different, uh, uh, different things that can be used as, as far as uh, examinations are, are concerned. And again, like I said, we do limited sampling of the core when it is done on, on, our, on our saw. This is where we process drill cuttings when they come in and uh, they're we bring in pallets like this and Sung works over there on, on processing them, uh, putting them into the system and then like I said we, we, keep, we keep a set of trays and then we use these boxes over here, we fill them up. Once, once we get a good load of uh, uh, a pallet load like this pallet you see in front of us is partially done, once it gets full then we wrap it and send it to, to GSC. But the, and this is our, our shipping and receiving bay. So any of the core that gets shipped here is shipped here and we take it off with our forklift and then uh, anything that needs to be get shipped out is shipped out from here. The two forklifts that we have here are wire guided. So they're, once they go down into an alley, they lock onto a wire and, and uh, won't drift off the line. They'll stay perfectly straight. And uh, so the reason why we got this forklift is because um, Sung, well Sung in general, because he does a lot more of the uh, working with the core boxes than I do. Um, he was getting a lot of back pains uh, because one of those boxes can weigh up to 60 to 80 pounds. And if you have to lug off, you know, 13, 14 uh, boxes, your back is wrecked after a while. And, his, and that's what his, his was uh, happening to his. So we uh, asked permission to get a, a forklift with articulating uh, forks on it and we have to move to a, a pallet system. Uh, we lose a little bit of space that way, but uh, we're able to, as you can see, move full loads without having to lift the boxes. So now when we go to ship this, we just need to wrap it and strap it and then send it out the door. And then we, when, when we, uh, um, get them back, they're wrapped and strapped exactly the same and then we just put them we just put them right back on the shelf, don't even have to touch them. So this is an example of how we ship it out now, so it's basically wrapped and strapped now, we don't even have to do anything with it, we just pull it off and then uh, and then ship it. Same thing, this is a, a better example of it uh, um, that's more or less how we want it to go and come back, so wrapped and then strapped. So when companies get these samples, what, what are they looking for in them? So a lot of them will be looking for the composition of what's in the, in the core or in the soil or in the rock at that particular depth that they drilled. Uh, again, they'll pick where in that drill they actually want to bring the core up. It's not like they have to core or they have to bring up the core for the whole entire well. It's only like a couple hundred meters or, or whatever the case may be. Um, so yeah, so they're, they're just looking for porosity. They're looking for, again, the composition of, of the rock or the soil or whatever's there just, you know, just for their own uh, um, background for future drilling. Uh, so they can they can be, get a better understand of what's under under the ground and, and where where to drill, and then universities kind of do the same thing. They they kind of work in conjunction with um, with a lot of the companies. 
and then their geologists will, I mean, they're, they're more interested in the rock aspect of it and wow, okay, we've never seen anything from this depth or from this area before, so we would really like to take a look at it. And, and that's kind of more or less, uh, again, we're, we're like a rock library here. So if, if somebody's looking for a particular book or core, we have it here and uh, we'll be more than, more than happy to pull it off the shelf.